These are seven Canva hacks that you probably didn't know about. And the first one is you can upload custom fonts on to Canva. Now you're gonna need Canva Pro to be able to do this, but if you went on to Creative Market or Etsy and you bought a custom brand font that you wanna be able to use in your designs, once you buy Canva Pro, you can get access to this brand tab here. And essentially this is just a tab where you can put in your brand logo, your brand colors, and your brand fonts. You can go to uploaded fonts right here or right here and upload your specific brand font so that you can use it in your Canva designs. The next thing is how to customize text in Canva. Now there is a lot of different customizations that you can do with your text. So let's go through some of them right now. So I have a Sarah Marie blog written out right here and there are a bunch of different options up here. Some of them are pretty self-explanatory like the fact that you can change your text right here. You also have access to your fonts here still. You can see popular fonts or you can type in fonts as well. One of the things that I like to do is use some of the options up here like handwriting and that is going to give you all of the fonts that look like they're handwritten which I think is a really cool feature if you know the style of font that you want to go for but you don't know the specific name for the font that you want to go for. This is going to be able to change the text color for you. You can either choose this where it's a color wheel and you can choose from all the different fonts. If you have a specific color code you can add the color code in there. Your brand colors are going to be right here so if you want to use those those are easily accessible but another cool option with the colors is you can just type in blue and it's going to give you a bunch of different blue colors. I honestly can't tell you why red shows up and pink. I think maybe because the palette is called Blue Cruise. So you have different palettes if you want to choose from those and maybe come up with a brand or something like that. There is the bold option here and there is the underline option here. And for some reason, the underline is hidden right here. You would think it'd be right here, but it's not, it's hidden. And you can also just use keyboard shortcuts as well. So if I hit control U, it's going to take away the underline or of course add it in if it's not already there. You can bold using control B and control I is going to turn on the italics if you like the keyboard shortcuts. Personally, I prefer the keyboard shortcuts rather than going up here. I think it's a lot faster, but there's of course multiple ways you can get to that option. And that's all just basic things that you can do with the text. Big things come in when you get into the effects. So we have a shadow. You can change the color, first of all. So if you want a white or you want a pink, I think probably black is gonna be the best. If we have a white text, you can see the dark outline underneath it. You can offset where you want the shadow to be. So this is basically behind it. And then you can offset it all the way over here, or you can change the direction so it goes all the way around the text wherever you want it to go. You can choose if you want it to be blurred and you can also choose the transparency. So this will make it more visible or less visible. If we go to lift, this one's a little bit more self-explanatory. It's basically shadow but with less options to choose from. All you have to do is choose the intensity. I prefer the shadow because you can choose uh, so many other options. I don't feel like this really does much for me, but if you want something nice and simple, lift is gonna be your gal. Hollow is another option, and this basically does exactly what it says. It makes the text hollow, and I believe if you change the text color, it will change what it looks like. So now you can read it a little bit better, obviously. You can change the thickness as well. Splice gives you a combination of both, shadow and hollow. This color here, is going to change the insides. If you click off of it and you go to the color, you can also change the border around it as well. A little confusing, but there is two options to change. So the, this effect is only gonna change the inside. This one is gonna change the border text. These are other ones that I don't use too much. Glitch, you can choose the direction and you can also choose which colors you want. If you want the blue and the pink or you want the blue and the orange. Next thing on here is background. You can choose the roundness of it. You can choose how far away this is from your text. And then you can also choose the transparency. And of course you can choose the color as well. Next one that we have is curve. This one down here will work with any of the options that you have up 
here along with it. Pretty much last thing here with the text is animate. I'm not gonna go over every single animation here. These are pretty self-explanatory. You hover over it, it will show you what that animation is going to look like. And if you click on it, you can decide if you want the animation to be on both enter and exit, if you want it to just be on the enter or if you want it to be on the exit. And then you can choose if you want it to go character by character, word, line, if you have multiple lines. The next thing I wanna show you is how to remove the background of a photo in Canva. And this is one of the tools that I use all of the time. It is pretty much how all of my thumbnails are made. It is paid though. So if you want to check out this tool and actually use it, check out my link below to Canva Pro in the description. You definitely want to get Canva Pro if you're going to be using it in any capacity. So let me show you how to use it. This right here is the last thumbnail that I just did. And this is a picture that I took the background out of right here. I have this photo right here, which is what the background of the thumbnail looks like. I click on it, go to edit image and background remover. It's going to take out everything that it just deems to be the background. And you can see I am the only thing that is left. If for some reason, let's say it left his shoulder in here because it deemed that to be part of the foreground as well. You could just go here to erase and then you can erase whatever it is that you need to erase. And just as you saw me restore, if it took things away that you wanted to keep, you can hit the restore and you're basically just painting in back whatever you want. There's also another feature that allows you to take out the background of animated text as well. And this is how I get all of the animated text popping up at the bottom of my videos because with Canva, you can't take out the background of animated text. You can only do that with text that is stagnant. So let me show you what I mean. If I want this text to be popping out of the screen, I have to share that as an MP4 or a GIF. There is no other way to make it animated but those two options. However, with these options, there is no way to get rid of the background. The only way that you can get rid of a background in Canva is if you save it as a PNG and you have the paid version of Canva, you can choose to do a transparent background. But that, as you can see right here, video, audio, and animations won't play when exported as this file type. Try downloading it as a video MP4. What that means is we basically have to create a green screen in Canva to then take it out in editing. If I go here to this green color, I can and then save this as an mp4. Going into my editing software, I can then drag this into here. You see that the green background is still there. We obviously don't want that. For my editing software, I'm gonna go to the clip properties here and scroll down to chroma key. Now, obviously, if you're using a different editing software, this is gonna be somewhere else, but what you're looking for is chroma key. It'll say, pick a color to make transparent. It is choosing the green. I can decide the tolerance, the noise, the edges, the opacity, and then apply. Just to show you, here's a random thumbnail photo that I've chosen. Obviously, this is gonna to be a video, not a thumbnail, but if I play it, you can see it pops as it should and it's animated. The next thing I wanna show you is how to blur in Canva. There's a few different ways that you can do this depending on what you're trying to do. So for example, if you're trying to blur a photo like this, all you have to do is put the photo in, click on edit image, see all and blur. Pretty self-explanatory, super easy. However, if you wanna blur text to make it pop out like I do in my thumbnail. So for example, this cider mill time, you can see that it's blurred in the background, the way that you have to do this is similar to what we had to do before with the green screen. So I'm basically gonna take this text and I'm going to download it as a PNG with a transparent background. I'm gonna go to elements and I'm gonna add in a grid and add in my YouTube text. So now what this is doing is it's creating a picture of the text that I have. So now I have a picture and I have the actual text. Now that it is a picture, I can click here to edit image, see all, and I can blur that so you can get a little bit of a blurred image. You can also use the other features that I showed you with the effect. This is essentially what Lift is doing and that's how you can blur your text. I also wanna show you how you can get the white outline around any photo like I do in my thumbnails. The process is gonna be similar to what I just showed you. I have this photo here, let's say I'm using it for a thumbnail. What I would do, make another copy of that photo. I'm gonna go to edit image and I'm gonna remove the background. Now I have two of the same image. And then I'm gonna create another image of the one without the background. Layer that over the top and then the extra photo here. 
This one, I'm gonna click edit image, go all the way down to duotone and you can click any of these. It's gonna turn just you a specific color. Click on it again and you can change both of these to whatever color you want. I choose white because I like the white outline. Edit image, see all, and now I can blur this and this is how I get the white outline. It takes a little bit of finagling to get right but that's how I get the white outline in all of my photos. Another thing you may not know about Canva is you can actually add music into your designs and if you are doing something like YouTube and you need to find some copyright free music you can go to Canva to find that copyright free music. There's a tab down here called audio and all you have to do is click and drag and then you can listen to whatever audio you've chosen. You can determine what the volume is going to be. And just like with videos, you can also figure out how long you want your audio to be if you wanna cut out a certain section or anything like that. And I don't believe you need to have anything on your image in order to download it. So you might just be able to download as a white background just so that you can use the music. Similarly to how you can add music into your Canva designs, you can also add videos. And this is how I get all of the B-roll for my YouTube videos, is you just click on the tab here called videos. You can search up any videos that you want, click and drag them into here. And you have a few different options for how to edit your videos. There is a few effects here that you can do, the background remover, which is in beta, and you can also white balance and light and color and texture your videos. This is similar to how you can cut out the songs. All you have to do if you want the inside of this instead, this will just clip the video or if you specifically want three seconds, you can just type in 3.0 or 5.0 or whatever you want. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like if you did and subscribe to the channel down below because it really helps me out. And I'll see you next time. Bye.